Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Fasting increases this good bacteria. What is it, what does it do, and why is it important to have proper levels of this bacteria in our gut? Let's get right into it. Fasting increases this good bacteria. The name of the bacteria is called Acromancia municifilia. We'll call it AM for short. And it was discovered in 2004, okay? It's one of 20 uh, most common bacteria found in our gut, and it comprises three to 5% of the gut population of the microflora, okay? AM lives in the mucus layer of the gut lining, and the mucus layer is what protects the epithelial cells of the gut lining. The epithelial cells are only one cell thick, so the mucus is very important for protection against foreign toxins getting into our body. AM feeds on the gut mucus layer and produces short-chain fatty acids as well as nutrients, okay? And the short-chain fatty acids help to produce more mucus. So it's a commensal bacteria and the short-chain fatty acids increases production of new mucus. So it degrades the mucus and helps to produce new mucus, keeping it fresh and um, a, a protective barrier uh, from the gut lining into the body, all right? Low AM weakens the gut barrier, allowing toxins to cross. This is the classic example of what they call leaky gut, intestinal permeability, or gut dysbiosis, okay? So benefits of having proper levels of AM is it improves uh, atophy, things like allergies, asthma, eczema, helps with autism, irritable bowel disease or irritable bowel uh, syndromes, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. It improves blood sugar levels, reduces gut inflammation, and helps to improve insulin sensitivity, okay? I'll step away from the board so you can see it. So how do we increase acromancia? Okay, one is intermittent fasting. You can do what we call time-restricted fasting or alternate day fasting, where you eat one day, fast for one day, eat one day, fast for one day, right? You can do alternating. I've made a couple of videos on these, so I'll link those below, okay? So you can increase acromancia uh, and overall positive effects of the gut flora by doing intermittent fasting. People with higher levels of AM have better results when they actually do calorie restriction diets or intermittent fasting, or alternate day fasting, right? Or time-restricted eating. So having higher levels also benefits in speeding up the metabolism and insulin sensitivity. You can do supplements. There's a company called Pendulum that makes the acromancia, okay? You can also do cranberry, or things that are high in polyphenols. Things like berries, uh, the peels of apples. You can also do rhubarb uh, extract. Green tea is also great for that. And then using other prebiotics uh, as well as probiotics may help increase uh, AM. So these are different strategies you can utilize to help improve this important gut flora. Again, it's very important for managing things like dysbiosis. Uh, things like type 2 diabetes, uh, metabolic syndrome, and preventing intestinal permeability. So it's an important um, probiotic uh, that people don't really talk about, and it was really discovered recently in 2004. So take a look into it. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on The Healthy Side. Have an awesome day.